Hi. Hi. What are you guys looking forward to on this trip? Jerusalem. All right. This is your second time going, right? Yes, it is. Wow. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's everybody go inside, okay? Please see your luggage. Get, get put in, and you get on the, on the on the van that your luggage is in. So when we get to the airport, you're not scrambling around. Where's my baggage? Okay? You grab your baggage. You start going on there. You grab it. You get off. We're gonna go. Oh, uh, and they'll drop us right in front there, okay? You understand that? All right. Watching over us, Lord, helping us get everything sorted out. And Father, you know how concerned we are about all these little things. And we just pray for your grace upon us, Lord. Just watch over us, Lord, as we travel. Father, as we drive to the airport. Father, as we go through TSA and check all our luggage. And Father, give us favor with the people there and the officials. And Father, just watch over us as we fly. And Lord, make us a blessing to all the people that we interact with and to one another especially. We love you, Lord. We thank you. We lift our family and our loved ones here at home. Watch over them, Father. Protect them. Keep them safe. And Lord, bless this trip, Father, for your name's sake. We love you. We ask for your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I just uh, Instagrammed you. Oh, nice. Perfect. There you go. See? Hey, there it is. Proof. Hey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Elijah and his situation in the ninth century. of 
Chapter 5, the Beatitudes, you have chapter 5, 6, and 7, which is traditionally called the um, Sermon on the Mount and the Beatitudes, where Jesus um, deals with the issues of Christianity. Um, after he gives the um, Beatitudes, he goes on to say, You have heard that it has been said, but I say unto you. And really, if, you, if I had something to point to the authority of the Beatitudes in the whole section of chapter 5 through 7, it would be that. You have heard that it has been said, but I say unto you. In other words, people would quote people, rabbis would quote rabbis, whatever it was, but Jesus never quoted anybody. He is the ultimate authority. When he says something, he didn't um, say, I think... He just, he was the ultimate authority. And, you know, Christianity can be uh, confused at times for a religion. And religion, many times people think, is a step towards God. But really, religion is a step away from God. Because you're putting things and activities and works as the basis of your relationship to please God or to merit presence before God or audience before God when in reality as the Beatitudes tell us there be attitudes not do attitudes yes we do them but we do certain things because we have become born again so our doing is a result of having this new birth in Christ Jesus that we have been transformed our heart has been renewed, our sins have been forgiven, and we're under new management, if you will. In the morning, when I rise, in the morning, when I rise in the morning, when I rise, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have world just give me Jesus when I am alone when I am alone oh when I am alone give me Jesus Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have all this world. 
come to die When I come to die Oh, when I come to die Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Give me Jesus You can have all this world Just give me Jesus Dead Sea in Israel, and I'm about to go in the water. Let's see what happens. I'm walking into this oily, salty water of the Dead Sea. Hey now, free floating. No hands. <laughs> Pretty wild. So what do you think? It is very oily. It is, isn't it? Yes. It's good for your skin, yes. they say. Yeah. Did you float? Yes, I did. What was that like? Let's see. Woo! No hands. <laughs> Your everlasting love is higher, higher, higher than the sky. Your everlasting love is higher. Higher than the sky All the wonder of your everlasting love Is higher than the sky Your everlasting love is deeper Deeper, deeper than the sea Your everlasting love is deeper Your everlasting 
out to me Lord, it's reaching out to me All the wonder of your everlasting love Is reaching out to me Higher than the heavens above Is the glory of your wonderful love I'm lost in the mystery of your everlasting love Higher than the heavens above Is the glory of your wonderful love I'm lost in the mystery of your everlasting love Your everlasting the Word of God and it tells us that God is holy, that God created us, that God was going to come the first time, He's coming back the second time. Every time He gives that objective, clear revelation, we can be absolutely sure that it will take place. Whether we understand it, whether we believe it, whether we are alive when it comes past, it makes no difference. It will come to pass because it's His Word. And there's no way we'll be able to know that unless God reveals it to us. And the scriptures, you know, men, men have fought against the scriptures, try to burn the scriptures, get rid of the scriptures. They're gone. The word is still here. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Simple, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They cross the brook of the Kidron down at the very base of this little valley. This is the Kidron Valley. Right here. It's just so weird to say that. You know? I mean, I, I talk about this stuff all the time, but I don't get to. And this is the Kidron Valley right here where we are. It's wild.
put your right leg. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold the knee back. Lisa got on. Woo! <laughs>
above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man. You were here before the Treasures of